now you can see we create quite a bit um, shape and shatter so what I want to do it's actually work a little bit more with the objects and we'll go start to adding them to this point okay let me go select it and maybe just move it a little bit so we can reposition because we'll have plenty of objects going inside here um, what I want to do is add object and I'm going from the library and from the library you'll notice I have some collection of the plants and they're free um, plants from the X frog so you can go and download it and I'm going to use some of the probably the um, small but then pine bush and maybe some pine so we'll see which one we'll go to add we have a few very nice ones of them and most time you kind of want to mix them together see which ones will apply a little bit better so let's start maybe with um, some kind of ground covering so I'll go to import as population okay the right here the were very important for me it is um, density and masking so I can set up in an area I want it we have it link in area set for them so let's go zoom out a little bit and right here you can see um, where we want to populate so I'm going to reduce this to 3000 by 3000 okay so it's said oh, 300 actually 3000 by 3000 so about right here maybe it's too big okay let's try to reduce to 2000 by 2000 I think this is about right just cover this area um, next what is important for me it is to control altitude and to control angle um, one way to do this is to create a take surface layer and control by this so we'll go take this two copy paste and I'll just take and connect them to the density okay here's my surface and let's open because I copy from other ones I can see um, my maximum altitude up minimum I will be right here and I will constrain to a little bit more flat ones so we'll go around set like right here and we'll go click and populate now so you can see the population we apply I don't want them to populate on a bottom so we'll go to our altitude and let's pop up minimum altitude maybe to 200 okay when we populate you notice it's now going top it's about where I want to place them um, also maybe go to slope altitude and just increase a little bit more here let's populate again let's look a little bit better um, spacing um, if I have it more of them you know what let's put it seven okay and we'll go to render a little bit closer it shouldn't be that many plants at the time and again it's based on a scale they will be very teeny tiny so I maybe want to increase scale on them but when we start mixing those plants that is what create kind of natural so you can see right here creating so I'm going to stop this okay we can go inside and let's go inside the scale and just increase overall scale because they will be a little bit too small there's a quite a bit scale right here the next I want to populate with different so we'll go again at object from the library and we can go and select different types so let's go just this one population will add right here you can see and we can also just connect same populations and if we open you can see we have a 2000 2000 and this one just 1000 so let's go increase slightly we'll populate them and let's go in the scale and pop up this actually a little bit even higher So increase. 
Okay, let's go to next. And on this one, I'm going to add library and we'll just go add some um, different pine trees as well. Okay, we'll go right here, pine trees, let's connect. Same, I maybe modify afterwards, just for now I want to connect, so we'll go 2000, 2000, populate, we'll go to scale, and normally I don't need it to increase scale, but I just want to increase for actually 6.6. Six. So it's look a little bit larger, so easy for us to see. And we can pop up this maybe 2.6.6. Six. Okay, let's go to preview. Okay, so right here when start render, not it's kind of like going around it doesn't going on our displacement and the reason is why because when we create it it's a set to compute terrain you see how going around from original object so let's stop at this one and you notice right here we have it from this first compute terrain however you remember we have this another one so what do we need to do for this we need to take and reconnect these nodes to our compute terrain from here. So we needed a replace. Okay, and this is kind of happen when you're creating um, different ones. So you want to be sure you connect it to properly. Um, and now let's go to render. Okay, actually, it's a populating. And you can see now we have a more accurate kind of placement going with uh, based on the displacement of our terrain. However, I notice we have this um, kind of uniform too much maybe. So let's do this way. We'll stop this one. Okay, we'll go inside and right here with pine trees, scale. Let's drop down to two and six. So it will start kind of give me variations of those plants as well. Distribution. I'm just going back to 10, 10. Okay, I'll click populate. So it will recalculate them. As well, we'll go now to the pine because right here. Let's go to the scale and set same three to this one reduce to 9, 9, populate. So it will create all this different type. Um, and you know what, let's go create, add one more. So we'll go to library. I'll just select different plant. So let's go import population. Again, because now we kind of know, you remember, we need to take this one and connect it. As well, we can just take and connect here. So let's go open. Okay, same scale. We can add actually 10 and 1, maybe 10 and 1. So it's quite a bit scale will be different here. And we'll leave it um, to 2. Populate. So it just add um, more different plants. Okay, right here you can see where the population happened just for this instance. Okay, let's go select previews then. Okay, I think that is look okay. Okay, let's go to render. Okay, so right here we have the image. These rocks is look Kind of interesting, but then maybe I needed to increase how many of them here and change to a little bit darker. So let's do this way. I like the population, how it's come up. So I will probably won't change this, except I want to go inside each of them and be sure they're populated properly. Just to go click a couple times. Okay, we'll go to... um. And this one, you know, let's pop up scale 8 and 4. Actually, this was a little bit different. 
So we can pop up this one to maybe 4-4, four, four, a little bit closer. So that will be quite a bit instance. And again, depend on a performance of your machine, you can increase or decrease of those populations. I have um, a good amount of the resources available, so I won't kind of worry, but normally I may reduce or even use it alpha maps instead of all objects to do that. So let's go right here, and this is rocks. First, I want to change the colors, and this is a green, but actually I want to you know, more sat saturated, darker, just grayish, actually, color. It's what I want to do. Okay. And then next, we'll go inside the uh, here density, maybe pop up density to two. Okay. And right here, where we have it break up, reduce and go in altitude. And just see right here 200. Let's pop up to 250, so it will bring a little bit closer around and increase also size. Okay, always remember what I do, I save incrementally most time, so I can go back in each step, and if I do something wrong, I can review at this time. Okay, I'm going to switch to my camera view, it's when I render, and I think I'm going to render one more time right now, with the actually enable water shader. Just overall preview and the next um, after render completed. So we'll go preview and next tutorial probably start tweaking a little bit more on a water shader and atmosphere. Right here we have our render. Um, the bottom rocks which is add look interesting. I maybe want to bring them more down like right here so they will have it nice shape and again this is main um, for me to main subject so we'll go to those large rocks okay open them actually we need to the surface to manipulate here altitude and minimum altitude maybe we'll need drop to 20 so you'll notice they will have it more start bringing them right around this area Okay, and uh, I think this is okay for this portion of the tutorial. We'll continue in the next portion, work on atmosphere and water shader.